This is the call the Wilmette Public Library Trustee Meet Board of Trustees meeting to order for Tuesday, September 17th at 7.33 p.m. All notices have been distributed at the standard places, the, the website, the Village Hall, the bulletin board, the WPL Legal Bulletin Board, the website, as well as sent to staff and presidents of the Friends. No, that's wrong. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> the book for, if anyone wants to see the book, they can always get it down at the reference desk. That's what that is. Can we have the roll call? Mm -hmm. Trustee Riddle. <clears throat> Trustee <Sure. laughs> Wolf. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee Barshus. Here. Trustee Fishman. Here. Okay. Hello. We have some two, ob uh, two observers. Do you all have any comments? This time is the time for public comments from the public commentary. Okay. We have the head of youth services, Andrea Johnson, and we look forward to hearing what's happening in youth services. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Uh, we haven't met many Johnson. I've been head of youth services since December, and I'm loving it. And uh, I was here primarily to catch you up on our summer reading program and, um, and to answer any questions you have about it or any, any uh, other activities that we have going on on the second floor. Um, Can you hear her okay? I'm okay, so sorry. If you can speak into the mic. Okay. Because I it's have not issues. Amplified. Okay, it's not? <laughs> it's only for the reporter. Oh, it's okay. for the families watching at home. Okay. <laughs> You'll so be surprised. I will speak up louder. Uh, in my previous position, I was running um, a summer reading club in a large city for several years, and I've also presented, made given pre presentations on running an effective summer reading program at national and state library conferences. And I have to say, when I came here, I was really impressed with how we run our summer reading club. It's easy to understand and it doesn't have any of the kind of trappings and complications of, that you see in a lot of library summer reading programs. We don't do little, you know, plastic tchotchkes and we don't have a flashy tech prize drawing. The focus is on reading. Um, it's not competitive. It's not about counting minutes and counting pages or, you know, even counting, you know, how many, how many books you're reading, which a lot of libraries do. and. A, We've, research shows that takes away from reading enjoyment. So the kids, what the kids get is a reading log like this one with stickers. You might have seen it. And they put um, a sticker on every day that they read. After 10 days, they can come in and get um, a small halfway prize at the summer reading club booth and talk about, you know, what they're loving, what they're reading. And then after 20 days of reading, they can come to the booth again and pick up a free book from our prize cart, any book they like. And um, they can do up to three of these logs. And um, so if they do three, they can, they're showing that they're reading up to 60 days and they can collect up to three free prize books. So it's really cements that daily habit. Um, we've gotten really positive feedback from parents and from kids, which you can see in uh, my report. So we're very happy with the program. Something that we'd like to do better in the future is market it better to parents of children three and under because it is also a read to me program. So they can put a sticker on their log when they read to their baby as well. Um, so it's going very well. We had over 1,500 kids sign up in the building, and then we signed up 275 kids in the preschool summer camps with the park district, and they participated with their camp counselors. So uh, we're, we're happy with the, the, the wow. turnout, and we're hoping to do more and more every year. Um, yeah, so any questions about the... Oh, and I wanted to show you this wonderful T-shirt that all the staff got. Of course, we... Um, in addition to all the programs that we do throughout the year for all ages, we boost school age programs during the summertime, and then we also take the show on the road out to the Batman Park and around town, and the staff wear these t-shirts to uh, promote the library services. And you know, of course, this is all um, thanks, thanks to the uh, Friends of the Library um, for generously supporting this program every year, as well as our Winter Reading Club and other uh, initiatives. And um, lots going on on the second floor. So mm -hmm. anything else you want to know about or any questions about? I was about going to ask, um, uh, did, you, did you do a summer reading before you didn't? Did you hear? Or you've only, you've been here? This is my first summer reading club at Wilmette Public okay. Library. So okay. we just started planning it after I arrived. I just wondered, since you've, you've done others elsewhere, you mm -hmm. know, if the idea of 
just reading, not necessarily reading a lot to get a prize or, you know, marking down how many books they read or that kind of thing. It's just reading, sitting and reading. I think that's wonderful. But mm -hmm. And the research backs it up that yeah. these external rewards don't work long term for encouraging reading enjoyment. Mm -hmm. So kids are encouraged by access to books, which we obviously give them, um, seeing reading modeled for them, mm -hmm. and um, giving them free choice of what they can read. Yeah. So we encourage free choice, we offer lots of great recommendations, but ultimately they choose what they want to read. So a lot of the parents were commenting that my kid is enjoying reading more, and that's mm -hmm. what we want to hear. Mm -hmm. No, I like it a lot. Uh, there's no um, qualification that they have to read a book or a couple of books. Oh, it's no. just time, right? Whatever they like, and it can be, it's all kinds of reading. So it could be audiobooks, mm -hmm. it could be comics, of course, it could be magazines, whatever they like to read. And if mm -hmm. a family member's reading to them, that counts as well. Very nice. And their reward is a book, so the reward is more reading. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, that's great. How do these numbers compare to last year's numbers? Mm -hmm. So last year, I saw that we signed up a little over 1,700 in mm -hmm. the building. So the in the building sign up was down. So this is why I clarified how we were adding it up. Um, I'm wondering if because we didn't have our marketing person for a few months, she was on maternity leave. Um, we also had the construction outside. Um, but as I looked over the past, I think 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. they have data that it was not a straight line, that it was steadily going up, but there was a curve. Do you look at the number that actually complete and get a book? Yeah, yeah, okay. and that's in my report too. And that's pretty impressive as well. We had 62% um, fi finish the first log, the 20 days. Um, that's really high for a summer reading club. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to like run out and get a bunch of people to commit and get a, mm -hmm. give out lots of logs, but to get that many kids to come back is uh, pretty great. And what are future plans? What are some of the highlights of what you're planning? In general? In, yeah. In, in the general? Next so I'm looking into um, doing some more early literacy outreach. How can we reach um, maybe parents in maternity wards, maybe in pediatricians' offices? Um, we're looking at different kinds of programs to encourage um, parents to read to their babies and read to their toddlers. So that's going to be a focus in the coming year. Mm. Um, a lot of us and the staff are interested in nature play because we know how much that benefits um, learning in the brain. Mm -hmm. And we have our beautiful new outdoor space. So we're talking about doing something like a mud kitchen and other nature examinations um, outside or bringing nature indoors. Um, so that's something we're excited about. Um, I have a librarian who's interested in bringing more art activities into her programming, more like the process of art and using materials. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to keep up with my staff because they all have so many, <laughs> so many great ideas and things that they're excited about. And of course, our maker activities are growing. We're expanding our um, maker programs to include a, a twice monthly maker lab. And it's going to be a two-hour drop-in program um, on a Thursday night and a Saturday afternoon. We just purchased our first 3D printer. And we also have a vinyl cutter. And we have some um, jewelry making and metal stamping supplies. Um, and patrons are going to be encouraged to bring in their own projects or to learn how to use these tools to make their own, do their own DIY project. So, and it's going to serve the whole community. It's not just for youth. Um, so it's kind of building on the response we had to Maker Fest and Maker After Dark, um, and that's so that's something we're really excited about in the coming year. Also, teens are always a challenge. What are some of the ways you're reaching, looking at reaching them differently? We have the uh, youth um, council that serves. We, so we serve up to eighth grade, and. Um, those kids, the tweens, as we call them, they don't like to be called tweens. Mm -hmm. um, they come once a month, and they get snacks, and they give us advice about the programs they want to see, and they help us with special projects. Um, so this month, um, the Youth Library Council is helping with um, banned book week activities and creating a display of um, banned books. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're also doing a lot of tech projects with them, um, ro Lego robotics, coding. They really respond to that sort of thing as well. Congrats. Congrats. Thank so you. It was really, my daughter participated Did in she? it. So. Yeah. Um, one of my comments is that I, I also teach um, Sunday school mm -hmm. at, at um, St. Francis, and I try to have kids read out loud. 
because a lot of kids, like my daughter, she can read pretty quickly, mm -hmm. you know, silently, but when she's reading out loud, she's slower, and I think that might be something fun to work on maybe for next summer is trying to, mm -hmm. you know, what books did you read out loud to, like, she, I'm having her practice with her little sister, uh -huh. you know. And I know you've probably considered that, but maybe one of the stamps could be, did you read this one out loud to anyone or well, something? I love the idea of encouraging kids to read to others. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? When I, I did a reading program in the past, we had, like, a list of activities that they should complete, and one of them was read to someone else, read to someone in your family, read to your dog. Mm -hmm. We have a reading to <laughs> yeah. dogs program for kids who are oh, the canine. struggling reading. Yeah, yes. the canine mm -hmm. reading buddies. But I love that, and I'll keep that in mind um, for future activities, because that's another way for kids to feel like they're part of a reading community and also to model reading for others. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think it's a terrific program. Mm -hmm. It's been ongoing, and I like seeing the results. So thank you so much for that. One thought that um, also to reach com um, new people to the community mm -hmm. is uh, maybe to approach the realtors um, as people are coming into the community. Mm -hmm. uh, some, I, uh, some people across the street moved in, and when I mentioned that I was now a library trustee, they said, oh, we, we didn't, we have young one just entering kindergarten, and they said, we really hadn't um, been to the library that much. Oh. But now that the child is moving um, into school, uh, ready for school, they, they are here all the time, they said. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking maybe if the realtor who sold them the house, or um, mm -hmm. that might have been a connection. So um, I love the ideas of the um, maternity wards and, and getting, you know, early on. Mm -hmm. So um, I like a lot of new families. Mm -hmm. do. We do an annual program with a local parent who's an author, uh, the Happy Moving Program, and it welcomes new families to Will Match. I think she had about 10, 15 families come in, but that would be a great way to really to broaden that. The word out. That, that mm -hmm. word. Thank yeah. you. Doesn't sure. the chamber <coughs> give out a packet to people when they first move in? <laughs> they do. <Still>. Right. <coughs> Maybe do we include anything in there? We do. Oh, okay. Maybe something specific to children's reading would be a good addition to that. I could see what's in the chamber packet and see if we can use it mm -hmm. for realtors. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks so much. I just wish some of the programs you offered for kids, you offered for adults. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need like accountability. <laughs> Stickers. Oh, welcome to fun. pop in and observe <laughs> anytime. We Thank love you. to have visitors. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Thanks so much. Okay. The minutes from the August 20th, 2019 meeting are behind number tab number one. Is there a motion? I have a motion to take the minutes. I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? Jen, any discussion? Okay. So, vote, roll call. Mm -hmm. Meet the minutes. Trustee Riddle? Aye. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Barshes? Yes. Trustee Fishman? Yes. Okay. The motion passed. Okay. We had a meeting of the, fin the treasurer's report. The financial report is behind tab number two. We had a financial committee meeting, which will be discussed later on. I'm standing in, not standing in for Rod, but I've given Rod's report. He's absent on business. And if you'll see, we received, this is one of our bigger months because the taxes rolled in in August of 1.3 million in real estate taxes, 28,000 in general fund, and 12,000 in interest. Our largest bills, are basically the uh, well insurance network of $46,000, overdrive for $16,000, and Midwest tape, tape for $10,000. Checks paid to the special, out of the special reserve fund were from Excel, were basically for the outdoor renovation. And you'll see those highlighted in yellow. And on page 13, 17, 13. 
13 of 17 and 17 of 17. Bills and salaries are also listed as well as the investments. And what you'll see is at this point in time, we, uh, some of the uh, CDs that came up for renewal were put in money market funds because the money market funds were paying higher rates than the CD. And what you will notice that the, where's the Illinois one? Do, 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 do. So the Illinois fund, you see a big increase in that. We're invested in the state, and that's because the rates are favorable and they were are better than, and it's one, another option to the money market fund. Are there any questions regarding budget? Okay, and we are running slightly higher.